this video, I'm going to make the controllers for the arm. And I'm going to start with the FK, just like we did the other day with the leg. And so I'm going to hide the uh, bind scale and the IK scale. And so I've just got only the FK scale visible. So I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to put the normal axis in X. Um, let's give it a radius of 1.25. Let's click on Apply. And uh, just like before, um, let's select the joint, and then shift select the controller, and let's do a point constraint and an orient constraint. And so now I've got the control um, pointed down the axis. And what I'm going to do is double click on my tool settings for the rotate tool. And right now I'm in object mode. So if I switch to world mode, so you can see that uh, the rotation axes in world mode um, are facing, are going in uh, global XYZ coordinates. But if I switch it to object mode, then the orientation, um, the x-axis is perpendicular down to the child. Okay, and that's what we want. And it's, it's beneficial to animate um, with this orientation matching the joint, so that if you want to just um, rotate a single axis, um, it, it's much easier to animate that way um, as opposed to if it were in world space um, and if I wanted to kind of rotate in the direction of the axes, well then I'd, I'd put uh, all these other values on it. So I'm going to hit zero. Okay, so um, Beneficial to be a line down the axis, and I'm going to keep it in um, object rotation. Now, um, you notice know, I've got uh, the constraint on there, so I'm going to come back and delete the constraints. And so now the constraints are gone, and so I'm going to rename this to um, left underscore clavicle underscore C T L uh, and that stands for controller so left clavicle controller okay um, now what I'm gonna do is freeze the transforms remember I told you you should do that all the time right so freeze transforms and then look what happens um, my orientation then lines back up at zero. So um, I'm not. I'm going to undo that. And I'm back to these values, and I'm not going to freeze the transforms just yet. So um, what I need is something to help this controller orient down the joints, and that's usually done with null groups. So to make a null group, you just hit Control G, um, or you could just uh, create a, an empty group. So I've got a null group, um, and I'm gonna name this left uh, clavicle underscore null. And what I'm going to do is the same process. I'm going to select the left clavicle and control click on the null group. I'm going to point and orient constrain it. And uh, I selected the wrong 
bite them. So let's try that again. I'm going to grab the null point and orient constraint. And so now my null is point and orient constraint. And it's aligned down the axis. So that I can take and delete those constraints. So the null is uh, now up here and it's pointing straight down the axis. And so then if I take my clavicle and if I um, parent it to the null, and now my clavicle, um, if I take it and um, freeze transforms, the clavicle is now oriented down the joint chain, and that's what I want. So uh, this is one of the only times where you don't freeze the transforms on something, and that's when you're making these null groups. So these null groups uh, align themselves with the joint, because the joint's always going to be moving, and down the chain it's going to be um, have a certain orientation. So if we take a null group, which is sort of like a buffer, and align that down where it needs to be, then I can parent constrain the controller, freeze the transforms, and it's going to be aimed down the controller. Okay, and so we're going to do that with um, with our subsequent joints. So let's rename this to left underscore uh, arm underscore CTL for control. Let's grab it and control click or control click over here. Point and orient, constrain it. Kill all the constraints. Control G, make a new null. And uh, I'm going to just copy that name. Paste it in there. So now I've got my left arm null. Got the left arm. Control click on the null point and orient constraint. And now I can uh, delete the constraints. And same thing, let's now parent the arm control to the null. And um, the nulls now, the uh, transformations are frozen there. And um, they're frozen and they're pointing down the joint. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this null and I'm going to parent it to the clavicle. So what happens is this is now a child of that. So if I rotate this, it's going to rotate that. And so um, I'll finish these up, pause the video and finish them up and then so here I've made these controllers. Um, I've got the left hand control made. Um, now there's a, a, short, a shortcut that you can do, so you don't have to point and orient constrain the group and the um, controller. So if I've got the hand control that I just made selected, control G, that's going to group it to itself, expand that. I just renamed that group. 
L underscore and underscore uh, no. So now I can just take the the um, grab the hand and then just control click on the null after it's been this is parented. Point constraint and orient constraint. Delete the constraints. Just hit the delete key. And I'm ready to rock and roll. And just parent the uh, Oops, you gotta be careful when you're parenting. I'll undid that, and take this and parent it to that one. Okay, so <clears throat> this is now my hierarchical chain, and so if I uh, grab these, they are now um, child-parent relationship. And the last step is just going to be to uh, take each one of these controllers. So again, you want to make sure that everything is uh, zeroed out, including the skeleton. Now the top of the branch will have uh, three values in the translation, um, but there should be no values in the rotation or translations uh, except for um, X. So uh, make sure everything is back to its uh, default position. And then I will um, orient constrain. joints to the controllers. And then I want to test to make sure that everything works. Okay, and then just hit Z and undo all of that. Make sure that everything's zeroed out. And so I've got my FK controllers all set. Save this as 